hi everyone welcome to uh, this session uh, in this session i'm taking a uh, few multiple choice questions based on how to find formula of uh, compounds in a topic uh, the solid state so we can start this by taking the first question okay the first question is in a compound atoms of element y form ccp lattice and those of element x occupy two third of tetrahedral voids the formula of the compound will be right so a given compound is having two elements now x and uh, y and uh, it's mentioned y forms ccp lattice so we'll get one information from this right ccp means you can take number of atoms equal to four so number of atoms will get right that that is nothing but y so you can take y form ccp from this you can get the data y will be four okay so once you get y four we can easily get uh, information about the whites now like how many octahedral whites and how many tetrahedral whites will be present so if number of atoms equal to four you know number of octahedral whites should be equal to the number of atoms and number of tetrahedral whites is double the number of atoms so if you apply that if y atoms or number of atoms in a cubic lattice or can take any any structure is four octahedral whites will be equal to four and tetrahedral whites will be equal to the double the number of octahedral whites so it is eight so what we got now number of octahedral whites and tetrahedral whites once you get this just see the next information given now uh, x occupy two-third of tetrahedral whites is given okay so now if you take tetrahedral whites you already got right it is eight so you can take here i made two columns one for x other for y so x will be two-third of tetrahedral whites so if you take two-third of tetrahedral whites it is nothing but two by three into eight so it is 16 by 3 so we got x as 16 by 3 and y directly given as 4 so what we got now 16 by 3 and 4 but we can't write uh, as a fraction right so we need to convert into a whole number so in that process what we need to do now just we need to convert this uh, fraction into whole number so we can multiply by certain numbers so to make it whole number we can divide uh, sorry multiply by 3 because we need to remove this 3 right so multiply by 3 and divide by 4 so why i'm dividing by 4 because 4 is common right between the two terms here so multiply by 3 and divide by 4 what you get now the first number will get it as 4 and second one y atoms will be equal to 3 so x4 y3 the right answer for this question will be x4 y3 as option a right so the right answer is option a let's go to next question now an ionic compound has a unit cell consisting of a ions at the corners of the cube and b ions on the centers of the faces of the cube the empirical formula for this compound would be right so made up of two ions there a ion and b ion and uh, it's given a ions at the corner of the cube right so i have taken again a table here a and b a at the corner all of you know um, if any atom at the corner it is shared by eight unit cells equally right so it means for one unit cell the portion will be only one by eight so as such we're having eight corners so we can take like one by eight into eight equal to one so it means a will be only one and now b ions on the centers of the faces of the cube so if we take face centered atom right each face centered atom is common to two unit cells so it means for each unit cell the portion will be only half right so one by two into we got uh, six faces in a cube so we can take like six faces equal to three so b atoms will be three so if we take simplest formula or empirical formula will be a1 b3 or you can take it as a b3 so right answer for this is option b a b 3 let us go to third question now 
in a solid AB having NaCl structure. Okay, if you take NaCl, that can be taken as a face centered cubic lattice, or it can take a FCC structure. Okay, in AB is having FCC structure. A atoms occupy corners of the cubic unit cell. Okay, if you take A atoms at the corner, again one thing is clear here. If you take at corner, we can again apply the same. So if we take A here, it should be 1 by 8 into 8, right? So it means it's having only one particle. A will be 1. And then, okay, just see the next one now. If all the face centered atoms along one of the axes are removed, okay, just see here, this is very important. One of the axes are removed. So if we take face centered atoms, totally we can take six face centered atoms, right? Now, what they're telling here? If all face centered atoms along one of the axes are removed, then the resultant stoichiometry of the solid is. Okay, as shown here in this diagram, a cube, and I taken one axis here, right? So you can take uh, the face centered atoms. How many will get here? This is one, right? And this is the second one. So if you remove all face centered atoms along one of the axes, means what? We need to remove two atoms only, right? So if you take any one axis, uh, there will be two atoms coming on that axis okay so it means we need to uh, remove two atoms that particularly face centered atoms so you can i have shown here six minus two right so face centered atoms will be equal to only four now because two atoms are removed okay on the axis so you know this this is uh, remain same right the portion for one unit cell will be one by two into four okay why this is four because uh, we have removed two atoms okay which comes on one of the axes okay so it is four equal to we'll get it as two uh, it means b atoms will be two what we get then formula will be equal to a b two so the right answer for this question will be option a a b two right next one fourth question is in spinal structure o2 minus ions are cubic close packed right again uh, we can get information like uh, number of atoms should be equal to 4 because in ccp or fcc uh, we'll be having number of particles equal to 4 whereas one eighth of the tetrahedral holes are occupied by a2 plus cations and half of the octahedral holes are occupied by the cations b3 plus the general formula of this compound is okay so what species we're having here we got three ions one is oxide then we got a2 plus and third one is b3 plus so i have shown here a2 plus b3 plus and o2 minus now if we take o2 minus is already given uh, it forms a ccp right cubic close packed structure so we can take z equal to four number of particles equal to four and by using number of particles we can easily find uh, octahedral holes and tetrahedral holes right or whites so you can take octahedral whites equal to four that's same like number of atoms and number of particles and tetrahedral whites equal to eight right so that's double the number of octahedral whites now if you take uh, the data given here one eighth of tetrahedral holes are occupied by a2 plus okay so one eighth of you can see here i taken one eighth of okay how many tetrahedral holes are present here we got eight so i have taken one one eight of one eighth of eight equal to one so it means we are having a two plus ions only one now go to the next data given half of the octahedral holes are occupied by cations oh sorry cations b3 plus okay half of octahedral holes so i have taken here one by two of octahedral holes in octahedral holes we are having is four so 1 by 2 into 4 equal to 2. So number of uh, B3 plus ions will be equal to 2. And the last one, uh, O2 minus. You know, this oxide is actually CCP, right? We can directly get it by, we can take uh, oxide ions equal to 4. Or even we can take like uh, based on the charges also. You can see here, A2 plus we got 1. Uh, B3 plus we got 2. So what's the total charge now? Uh, this is 2 plus right 2 plus we got only 1 right a2 plus and b3 plus we got 2 so it means plus 3 into 2 you got plus 6 
and from here plus 2 totally plus 8 you got right and this is a neutral one right spinal structure so it means there should be 8 negative charges also present and to get 8 negative charges we should take 4 oxide ions only right okay so the formula or empirical formula will be a b 2 o 4 so the right answer for this question is option b right that's the fourth question let's go to the next one now okay let me read first structure of a mixed oxide is cubic close packed structure again same the cubic unit cell of mixed oxide is composed of oxide ions okay one fourth of the tetrahedral voids are occupied by divalent metal a so metal a is divalent so i take an a2 plus here and the octahedral voids are occupied by a monovalent metal b so i take an b plus the formula of the oxide is right again oxide given as uh, oh, okay it forms cubic close packed structure so we can take z equal to 4 again and if we take z equal to 4 uh, whites again similarly octahedral whites will be equal to 4 and tetrahedral whites will be equal to 8 right once you get whites just see the data given now again the cubic close uh, cubic unit cell of mixed oxide is composed of oxide ions okay one fourth of the tetrahedral whites are occupied by divalent metal a one fourth so i take and you can see here one fourth of tetrahedral whites how many are there tetrahedral whites here you got 8 so i take an 8 equal to you'll get it as 2 so what you got now it is uh, uh, number of a2 plus ions will be 2 next one and the octahedral whites are occupied by monovalent metal b it means all octahedral whites are occupied by uh, monovalent b or b plus so we got uh, totally four octahedral whites here so you can take directly as four okay now just see here we got a2 plus 2 2 number and uh, b plus ions are 4 in number so if you write empirical formula it should be what uh, should a common outside so what remains now a2 plus will be 1 and b plus will be 2 right and now uh, number of oxide ions again uh, we got two methods here it's already given cubic close packed structure so it, we can directly take 4 here or uh, we can take based on the uh, charges if you apply based on the charges you can see here a2 plus we got one right so one into its charge is two plus plus b plus we got two right so two into plus one what's the total positive charge now total positive charge equal to plus four so that should be equal to total negative charge right and to get minus four we should have two oxide ions so the simplest formula or the empirical formula for this uh, compound should be a b 2 o 2 so the right answer uh, we can take it as option d a b 2 o 2 right let's go to the last question in a phase centered cubic arrangement of a and b atoms the atoms are at the corners of the unit cell sorry a atoms are at the corners and b atoms at the face centers okay right so a atoms present at the corner of the uh, unit cell or the cube uh, cube and b atoms at the face centers one of the a atoms is missing from one corner in the unit cell okay so uh, one of the a atom is missing from the corner right the simplest formula of the compound is right you can see first again it's having uh, two elements a and b so a at the corner but you can't take uh, all eight corner atoms now because one is missing right it's given here so one of the a atom is missing from one corner it means okay the uh, if you take for one unit cell the portion will be one by eight right because uh, one corner particle is common to eight unit cells so we take portion as only one by eight for one unit cell into how many atoms are present here if we take completely it will be eight but it's having one is missing from the corner so we should take it as seven so what we get now a as seven by eight and if we take b you know b atoms at the face centers 
okay the portion is what one by two for face centered atom and we got uh, totally six face centered atoms so equal to three so we got a as seven by eight and b as three so again we should take um, the simplest whole number here so you can easily convert it seven by eight and three so what we need to do now we need to remove this eight right so you can multiply both the numbers by eight so if you multiply by eight what happens a will be seven and b eight into three will get 24 so the formula empirical formula becomes a7 b 24 so the right answer for this question is a7 b 24 okay right so this completes a uh, few multiple choice questions based on uh, finding formula of compounds okay if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you